Hello, and welcome to day 15 of the Empath Challenge. Today's topic is boundaries. This is a very important topic, and I think I hear about boundaries all the time because because our aura is so fluid. Having boundaries is a bit of a challenge because we can feel outside of ourselves very easily. We're curious beavers. We want to know what's out there. It's almost like someone gave us this tool and it's really fun um, or not, but it comes so naturally to us and it's so easy that we get lost in the fun that can be had when we are in the habit of feeling outside of ourselves, feeling into people too much. So for today, I want you to focus on you, you and what you're about, your thoughts, not other people's thoughts. So throughout your day, whenever you're talking to anybody, I want you to, to, to not, so you, you're putting an invisible, invisible, not invisible, a clear window, a clear glass, that's even better, between you and the person that you're talking to. So you can see them and see you. Their words don't come into you. You see their words written out, stated out loud. You can see the visual of it, but come back to yourself. What do I think? What do I think? So make that little you that oftentimes gets lost in the mix of other people. I want you to hear yourself better. I want you to know what you think more so than other people. Um, It is a challenge to do that, especially when you can see everybody's point of view. And honestly, I actually think we're supposed to be, you know, helping, you know, our biggest driver is balancing the environment that we see in front of us. The hard part is that it is not up to us to control the environment. It is not up to us to heal other people. We can do our part only when we know who we are. So that meditation piece that I gave you a couple days ago is huge. And asking yourself the question, what do I feel? What what, what do I want to do? How do I want to look at this? And not making yourself wrong when, say, you disagree with somebody else. But I think the first step is to know what it is that you're thinking. And the second step is not to make yourself wrong for thinking something that differs from another person or makes another person wrong. So when we start looking at boundaries and we start looking at people in our lives and they're behaving certain ways... It's a great idea if you can embrace this thought. The way people act is about energies that are within their field. It's not about them at at the core level. At the core level, you're seeing the soul. You're feeling the soul. But the whole outside part, the little personality and the attitudes and everything else that comes with them, those are energies within their field that's part of their healing that needs to be healed, those are their energies. You're not, when you connect with them and you feel and you're resonating at the same level that they are, you're not doing yourself any favors. You need to step back. Listen. They can talk to you. If you think it's safe, you converse back. If you think this is too much, don't even have the conversation. And there's your boundary right there. Okay? So, in having a conversation, you, you like the other person, you, you think you'd like to be there for them. Don't get so vested or so attached. You step back. You converse knowing that this is their energy and their stuff. And when they project it out to you, which they will try to project some, some of them, project it out to you and make bring you into it, you just don't bite. Don't bite. You have your clear glass. They're not coming in. 
all right? So I want you to try that out. I mean, it does take practice, so I don't expect you guys to get this perfect, but it's the priority. The priority is in knowing what you think, what you feel, and not being wrong for it or feeling less feeling lesser than because of it, but seeing it. So write it out. All right. Um, I hope that's helpful. I know this is a big this is a big one. And I'll probably revisit it before the end of the challenge just to give you another tool with it. But it's the overriding theme for us empaths is that we really need to know who we are and be able to look at other people as energies within their own life. And if we're going to help or not help, um, maybe we're not getting in, in, into it deeply. I mean, ideally, we don't get into it so deeply that we get caught up in it and pulled down by it. So your vibration, quote unquote, stays at a level that feels comfortable to you. And there's a boundary there. Good luck. (laughs) And I'll be in the Facebook group for any questions. And uh, I would love to hear your successes and your thoughts and or challenges on this. All right. So I will talk to you soon. Thank you and have a great day.